Hello everyone, my name is Sam Bhadag and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be exploring a new kind of tool which is called Monocle. And it is another uh, desktop UI for managing K8's manifest. Uh, so what I read is you can, uh, you know, get a view of your Kubernetes manifests and you can edit them on the fly. You can preview the Helm and the customize. You can compare uh, your cluster resources with whatever is deployed uh, on local and in your cluster. Let's try this out. So I am in a cube shop. So this is a project by cube shop and uh, this is the GitHub repository. And on the releases page, we have the file to download. So let's download that. Yes, I want to open it. So this is the welcome page and uh, you can read your manifest, see resources, understand the different linking between them, edit manifests on the fly, offer the preview, the customization and help is something uh, pretty interesting. And then diff and apply the resources onto your clusters. So I believe you can connect to your Kubernetes clusters as well and apply the resources over there using the kubeconfig file. So let's get started. Let's browse uh, the case, case manifests. Okay, so I have uh, one of my repositories, uh, kubecon, uh, from the kubecon. And what it has done is it has imported that. So what I can do is uh, this particular thing will deploy some stuff, which is obviously Grafana. And I think this is uh, in sync. So if I click anything over here, it goes over here. So we have the deployment.yaml in the Grafana folder. And then uh, we have other deployments for the flux. So this is the customization. So you have the customization YAML as well. And this is where I think we can edit uh, the stuff as well, which is nice. And what this does, okay. So what, what it is, is it is defining the link that th this particular resource has a uh, incoming link from the service and this is the service which is corresponding to that deployment so they have direct uh, links between various deployments and the dependencies so these are the warnings and stuff so there's some resources that it is not able to understand which is, it has put in the unknown resources obviously it's a workflow uh, which you know it's, it's kind of a litmus workflow because that was a litmus demo and uh, it i used the gitops uh, for the litmus 2.0 and connected this github repository so that's why the workflow.yaml uh, is, is there so this is the customization yeah so this is the complete customization and it tells okay these are the resources that will be uh, deployed and you can see the in the access control you have the role role binding uh, and the sum of the service accounts and you can see this service account is uh, you know uh, used with respect to this particular deployment and we can directly navigate from these as well so like uh, you have these this deployment and here is a service account i can click on the service account and directly moves to here so i think that's pretty interesting to see which all things are kind of interlinked and I think we can add the name kind API version namespace and uh, and stuff. What else is there? What is this I can do? So this is a filter. Cluster compare. Okay. So basically what this does is I can connect my Kubernetes cluster. So I've already connected a... Uh, Cvo Prometheus uh, cube config file. I mean, I have given uh, the cube config file. I have the context. So if I, I believe that like, you can have your uh, config and it will show all the contexts as well. And we can actually show the cluster object. So it will be importing the cluster objects. So it is previewing uh, all the resources. So this particular resource is pretty interesting because um, it, it is having the complete, you know, the, the cube uh, Prometheus stack. So it has a lot of resources that have been deployed. So you have your uh, deployment, which is cube state metrics, and it, it has kind of one error. I, I don't understand why this is there uh, because this is successfully deployed. And you can see uh, this particular stuff is uh, getting a service account name from here. And you can see there are config maps and its dependencies. So if I go to this particular config map and I go to 
the stateful set, you can see that this particular config map is being used. So I think that also links very well. And I can see the config map as well, uh, like this. And it gives me all the details. Obviously, it's it's pretty heavy because it, it gives a lot of things out of the box. So there are uh, it shows uh, correctly the endpoints, what all endpoints are there. Uh, like this particular thing is the endpoint for the service. Uh, Grafana, uh, Ingress, if any created. So all the Kubernetes objects are kind of being shown uh, in a nice way. Uh, so I like that. Uh, it showed the customization uh, that it is getting deployed. So I like that. So I can exit this view and I can do the cluster compare. So the cluster compare is comparing the local resources to the cluster resources. Obviously, the, the local resources are uh, from the cube config file, so they won't be there. And I can actually deploy this so immediately. So these are my local resources, which are from the folder, kubecon21, uh, 2021 EU. Let's deploy Grafana. So the namespace monitoring itself is not found. So let's deploy the namespace first. And these are the notifications, I believe. So if I go to the cluster and I do kubectl uh, get ns, and I have the monitoring namespace. And now if I try to install, uh, you know, uh, the Grafana, it should install. So it has deployed successfully. So kubectl get all hyphen n monitoring. And you can see the deployment, which is deployed. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, overall, we can compare the local and the uh, you know and the remote clusters. We can see the customizations uh, directly and what all uh, customizations, what all things it will get deployed, and what are the dependencies, interdependencies between services, deployments, config maps, service accounts, and we can edit them on the fly and navigate them, and we can uh, deploy them as well. We can connect the local con clusters and uh, show the cluster objects and we can preview them as well. So if uh, I click on preview, it will tell me what all resources it will deploy from that particular customizations. So I think that's pretty neat. And I it's, it's a desktop application. Uh, you can kind of keep your cluster and your local in sync. I'll exit the preview. So that's a quick walkthrough of uh, Monocle and what it can do. So this is the repository. Uh, so this is the documentation. And if I go to the architecture, uh, yeah, that's the Electron desktop uh, built with React and TypeScript. If you want, you can start your contributions. They have a getting involved sections. The roadmap is there, like the cluster resource creation manipulation uh, improved cluster integrations plugins interesting let's see what all plugins they'll come up with improve help integration so they have a clear roadmap that they are working on so if you liked uh, monocle uh, try try them out and you know share on twitter what you liked about uh, monocle and uh, how you used it uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, for future walkthroughs and let me know if you want any specific walkthrough of any open source project uh, with that uh, thank you and see you next time